Everybody wants to learn English. It is such a great language. People suggest reading books for learning English speaking. But some people have expressed a problem to me that they are not able to improve their English in spite of reading books. They make lot of efforts by reading various English books, English magazines, but there is no much improvement in their English speaking. Some other people come back to me with a problem that they speak English but they don't have proper flow of the language. It is a broken language consisting of broken sentences. There is no fluency. Because of this there is no beauty in speaking. In this video I am going to give you practical solutions for both these problems. Problem 1 why our english doesn't improve though we read books problem 2 why there is no proper flow of language though we speak regularly after understanding these two solutions you will easily overcome these two major problems of your english speaking to understand the concepts clearly watch the video till the end without missing any part of it Hi everyone this is Sampath Kumar Acharya from the channel Better Way of Life it is the channel which is bringing to you one video every week on variety of topics to improve the quality of your life and to show you the better way of life so as to get the notifications of my videos please press the subscription button and the bell icon without forgetting now let us start discussing both the problems problem 1 Why don't we improve our English in spite of reading books and English newspapers for learning English and also for improving it what matters more is how we read than how much we read that means the way we read is more important to make you understand this point i'll give you a simple example you are spending some time in the evening in a beautiful park you are sitting on the bench there and watching a group of children playing running jumping crying and enjoying there you are happy watching them and by that you are relieved of your stress after that when you returned home you told your wife about what you saw in the park and shared your happiness with her then if your wife asks you a question as to how many children were playing there and how many of them were boys and how many of them were girls whether you can answer those questions certainly you cannot answer of course your wife may not ask you those questions in fact we don't pay attention to such things when we see something enjoyable we simply see and enjoy this happens in various other situations also on daily basis when you are driving your bike on the road you may see many cars passing you may also find many other vehicles crossing you and overtaking you we don't bother to remember everything we see everywhere we see and remember only what we need to remember this is an important point to understand while learning english while reading a book we generally focus on the content or the story of the book where we understand the point that the author is making we move forward in reading we are more involved in the content sometimes in a suspense thriller novel the author makes us run this type of reading is just equal to watching the children playing in the park or looking at the vehicles running on the road but if you are reading it for the purpose of learning english the way of reading should be different you have to stop for a while in between and reflect on what you are reading if you stop at the end of some of the sentences which you like for better expression and observe the beauty of those sentences that becomes the starting point for improving your language you may find so many new sentences which you are not putting to usage right now and the way of expression is better than what you normally speak 
there you have to certainly pause for a moment think of making similar sentences which are useful to your daily conversation if you do this simple thing it brings a tremendous improvement in your english speaking ability otherwise you'll be reading a book just for time pass then to have a better impact you can make a note of the new expressions and usages in your mobile and make a check of how many of them you are able to use in your talking this wonderful technique is useful to the beginners as well as for beautifying your existing language at any level second problem you are practicing speaking but you are not getting the flow of the language there is no fluency in your language what is the reason now let us understand what is the flow of the language what is the fluency it is not just delivering the words in fact it is delivering the sentences if you understand this difference you will develop fluency in no time understand one important point here when you try to make sentences joining words at the time of speaking you will only end up in speaking broken language in that process you are only searching for words to develop fluency your mind should search for ideas not words how should we develop it please pay your whole attention to what i am going to tell you in the next two minutes and understand it carefully when you are reading a book or a newspaper it is not enough if you know the words and their meanings you should capture the ideas after reading a paragraph or a page pause for a while and think of the idea which the author is communicating speak to yourself about that particular idea articulating a few sentences of your own don't stop there after that speak to yourself about the similar ideas the similar situations and the similar thoughts in english and then when you are speaking to someone you have to simply deliver these ideas one after the other which gives you an unbroken flow of language for example in the book the author is narrating how hurriedly he reached the airport took the boarding card and boarded the flight it is a paragraph of about 8 sentences when you read it initially speak to yourself about the experience of the author then speak to yourself about your own experience of reaching the airport or a railway station or the examination hall in a hurry here i am telling you the most successful technique which is called speak to yourself the point here is whenever you read something or listen to a talk don't leave it without reflecting your thoughts on it this is a very important point not only that whenever you experience something or whenever a thought flows through your mind spend a few minutes and speak to yourself about it in english though it appears to be a simple technique it is proved to be the best method in generating a flow of language i made an elaborate video on this technique of speak to yourself the link is provided in the description box it is also given above remember the best speakers world over have developed the excellent communication skills following this technique of speak to yourself i have provided two solutions to the two major problems first read the book slowly observe the sentences and make similar sentences taking your life situations and put them to use this will improve the richness of your language second to improve the fluency your mind should generate ideas not words for this you should go on speaking to yourself on the ideas and thoughts which you find in the books in the newspapers in the social media talks and in various other platforms the first technique improves the richness of your language whereas the second technique improves your fluency of the language so thank you very much please give a thumbs up to like the video 
and share it to your friends share your thoughts on improving english speaking most important before you leave the screen please press the subscription button and the bell icon